Hey there, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I get ready every morning. Well, that is the mornings when I put on some makeup. Just a little bit more than the basic mascara, concealer and blusher. I do it all in 10 minutes, so it's very fast. That's just a quick makeup and I'll just do my hair very quickly. This morning, um, I took Nina to school, so I'm shooting this after Nina's at school. So I had a shower, got dressed, just um, brushed my hair and um, that was it so i'm just going to apply my makeup now so we can do it together and i can show you what i do on a daily basis when i am wearing makeup like i said this setup took forever to set up this morning because i had to find the right angle and the lighting isn't actually that great for makeup because it's too bright i had to put down the shades know that i am not a makeup artist I'm not qualified in makeup so this is just my my quick routine I did get asked quite a bit for this so I decided to just um, film it for you so that is um, a makeup base not a base well there go my makeup skills <laughs> that's a makeup primer I'm using this one at the moment it's from Essence Next, I will apply a little bit of foundation. This is what I normally use. It's from Kiko, full coverage, two-in-one foundation and concealer. I do not apply foundation every day, but when I do, this is uh, my normal routine. I use a beauty blender to just blend it in. This is the part that takes most time for me at least because you really need to make sure that your base is properly blended. But it also makes the biggest difference, the base. So next, concealer. Having um, olive skin, I do tend to have a bit of um, dark eye circles. This is, oh, I'm so bad at makeup tutorials. You can see it's not my thing. Um, this is Essence Cover Stick in number 10 if you'd like to know the number <laughs> i'll just apply um, some of that below my eyes and i'll put a little bit over here and here and here and here if that's the way you're supposed to be doing it but that's the way i do it i will just blend that in as well Next, some powder, just to fix everything. I use Kiko Invisible Touch Face Fixing Powder. Been using this for years. Just a little bit. It's almost finished, I need to get a new one. So I will just make sure that that powder is kind of blended and absorbed. my base almost ready essence contouring duo palette i will do just a little bit of contouring i'm not that great at it but i just like to accentuate my cheekbones a little bit and i'll just use a little bit of that on the sides of my nose a little bit on my jawline and up there and then it's time for blusher I'm using Essence again, the blush. I love this color, it's very natural. Probably a lot of people apply blusher at the end, like applying a little bit now and maybe just adding a little bit more um, before I finish, like just to make sure that the color is looking good. I 
The color is looking very different when I look at the camera. I'm white. Some highlighter, it's from Essence as well. Recently broke for me, but I still make good use of it. I don't really spend a lot of money on makeup. I find that the ones that I use work perfectly well for me, and I'm happy with that. I have tried a couple of expensive brands for um, like mascara and blusher, but to be honest, I mean, it's not that I wasn't impressed, but I wasn't impressed enough to spend five times or even more sometimes as much to get like designer brands. So I'm happy with, with what I use. I'm quite simple in this department. So mascara. This is my favorite. It's called Essence What the Fake. I have very short lashes and they're quite, well, they are a little bit sparse, I guess. So I need a good mascara to accentuate those itsy bitsy lashes of mine. That's two coats. Much better already. Okay, made a little mistake over there, but we'll fix it. So I'll put on a third coat on the other eye and fix the mess that I've made, if you can see it. I smudged it a little bit. I use this little glove thing to fix my makeup mistakes. I need to, okay, this is gonna take longer than 10 minutes today because when I mess up with my makeup, of course, you need to fix it. So I need to just apply just a little bit of concealer beneath my eye. My eyebrows are um, tattooed with a semi-permanent tattoo, which is why they look so great and they don't really need any touching up until they start getting lighter. I don't always do this, but if I'm feeling like I want to apply a little bit more makeup, I will apply just a little bit of um, eyeshadow. Brown is my color, this bronzy brown. So I will just apply um, a bronzy brown to my lids. I like to apply it a little bit higher because uh, my lids are quite, uh, are quite small. After that, I will take my Essence Highlight Eyebrow Lifter and I will just apply a little bit beneath my brows and this makes my eyes really stand out. It gives the illusion of a sort of larger eye, in my opinion. So that's that. All I need to do is just fix this little mistake. So I just need to apply just a little bit of concealer underneath my eye. I love lipstick, but I haven't worn any lately. I've been using a lot of balms and this is one of the ones that I really like. It's from Dr. Popo, it's the Tinted Peach Pink Balm. It's multi-purpose -pur soothing. Um, you can use it on your lips and your cheeks. I like using it as a multi-purpose tool during the hot summers. I'm just going to apply a little bit to my lips. And I'm just going to fix my blusher a little bit because I think I just need a little bit more. That took me nine minutes and I was chatting with you. So just one last thing. I'll just apply um, some serum to my hair and we're good to go. So Milkshake Argan Glistening Oil. I'll just put a drop of that and rub it into my hair and just randomly distribute it along my hair. I usually leave my hair hanging or just grab it into a ponytail or just randomly tie back a um, few pieces of my hair like this. That's it. I hope you liked this video. I just wanted to share what I do in the morning to get ready and look decent because this looks much better than I looked like 10 minutes ago. I hope you can find this video useful and inspiring because it really doesn't take that long to um, get ready in the morning and put on some makeup. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the, in the comments box. Let me know if you want more. 
In the meantime, I'd like to thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Bye!